Ecology is the study of the interactions between living organisms and their environment. And as such, it covers a great range of scientific studies with significant impact on human lives, since we too are living organisms and our actions can seriously change the environment we live in. So, where to start? Well, because different parts of our world have significantly different environmental factors, many living organisms have evolved adaptations to cope with particularly challenging aspects of their particular environment. This is what's known as physiological ecology or sometimes ecophysiology. Whilst there are some fairly obvious adaptations that various animals have undergone as a result of living in different environments, it's important to realise these adaptations happen in all living organisms, not just animals, but also plants, fungi and even bacteria. All these can undergo significant evolutionary change over time, a result of the changes in their particular environments. However, pressure for evolutionary change due to environmental change may be considerably different for different types of plants, animals, bacteria, or even fungi. If we take a small plant and a small animal on the ground in a tropical rainforest, the ground level is very little light making it through the canopy. A small animal may develop, say, better hearing or better eyesight to cope with the circumstances. These changes are not as significant as the ones the plant needs to adopt in order to keep photosynthesizing and survive. The plant may evolve much larger leaves and also get these leaves to track the available light during the day. Even hairs on the surface of leaves can increase the amount of light making it into the chlorophyll in the leaves. All of these changes can be tracked back to the availability of light on the floor of the rainforest. Now, as well as light, some of the common factors which either an abundance or a shortage of a particular aspect in the environment may cause significant evolutionary pressure, specifically in plants, are temperature, water, carbon dioxide levels and wind. All of these may cause plants to evolve different features to cope with these factors. However, most environments don't just represent a single challenging aspect of one of these factors. Instead, it's an interrelation between many or even all of these, with the adaptations reflecting which of these factors represents the greatest challenge. Of course, as the plants in particular environment change, so too will the animal life that either eats the plants or eats the plant eaters. Along with this, some of the factors that influence plant adaptations are also key in animals, especially temperature and water. Other factors such as salt levels and altitude also have a significant influence. It's important to realise that the environment also isn't a static and changing thing, either on a local level or on a global level. And whilst humans can change the environment, we're not the only living organisms that have done this. The first cyanobacteria increased the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere to a point where animals could actually evolve. Tall trees in the rainforest, as I said, can reduce the amount of light reaching the ground. Elephants can knock down a large number of trees, leading to deforestation. Algal balloons can reduce the oxygen content of fresh water, killing off all animal life. The interaction of different forms of life to their environment and to each other, of course, is fundamental to ecology. Next, we need to actually look at some of these processes.